We've seen some fantastic headlines about um, energy prices for the consumers going up by 25%. Businesses are facing energy prices over 12 months, sometimes with the increase of 50 to 70%. It's really important now that they do everything they can to reduce the impacts of those bills. And the best way to do that is through energy efficiency. The amount of money that businesses can save through energy efficiency is, is quite significant. We estimate the numbers of in excess of 20% of the energy bill can be cut off by doing no cost and low cost measures at a business. Carbon Trust's mission is to help business to understand the opportunities here, to help them to understand the savings that they can make through energy efficiency, to provide advice and guidance to get them saving energy and money right now. This film's all about compressed air um, in manufacturing. Um, compressed air is a very, very big consumer of energy, but it's often not seen, often overlooked. What this film is about is um, one of the Carbon Trust energy consultants walking around a factory and looking and showing how energy can be saved, money can be saved by looking at the compressed air and giving us five tips on things that we can do straight away. Mulu manufacture copper tube for domestic water and sanitation systems. We also manufacture copper tube for medical air systems in hospitals, engineering copper tube, uh, copper coils for heating systems, any copper tube that goes into a, a house, domestic or industrial industry. Our total energy spend is in excess of one and a half million pounds per year. With increase in uh, energy prices over the last 12 months, any saving that we can make on energy is beneficial to the company. Using the expert energy consultant from the Carbon Trust was very helpful. It gave us an idea to look at different other areas of energy saving that are not normally uh, part of our overall picture. Compressed air is used to power industry. Paint spraying, machines, processes, and pneumatic controls. Air is considered free, but pay regard to the cost of compression. It's quite surprising that compressed air can represent 10% of most factories' electricity bills. A bit of attention to a few simple rules can deliver 50% savings on that. When siting your compressors, think carefully about getting the cold, fresh air onto the compressor and where you can use your waste heat. The colder the air is onto the compressor, the more dense it will be to start with, and the less compression the compressor will have to do. In point of fact, for every 5 degrees C temperature increase in that air, it results in 2% loss of efficiency at the compressor. So cold air from outside is the key onto the compressor. Fresh air is continuously taken into your compressor to create the compressed air. It's important to keep your filters clean. Dust and debris building up on the filter just causes a pressure drop. This can cause a 2% loss in efficiency. Change your filters regularly. The majority of energy that goes into a compressor comes out as waste heat, almost 90% of the energy. Here it's usefully coming out at over 40 degrees C. That's fantastic warm air for heating your factory or your warehouses. So when siting your compressor, consider where you can use this waste heat usefully throughout the winter. In the summer, just duct it out. So the tip here is, when siting a compressor, consider getting the fresh air onto that compressor and making use of the waste heat. Factories often set their compressors at the full operating pressure. That's 100 psi or 7 bar. It's worth looking round your factory. Are there any processes that require high pressure air or high quality air and providing dedicated compressors for those? Here we have a vacuum blast machine that requires 7 bar pressure, but the rest of the factory only requires 5 bar to operate. What they're going to do here is they're going to provide a dedicated compressor to a new vacuum blast machine. This will allow them to provide that high pressure air and yet derate the rest of their compressed air mains. By derating by just 1 bar, that's going to save them 7% on compressed air generation costs. The tip here is to survey your compressed air requirements. And if you want to save money, minimise your compressed air generating pressure. Surprisingly, many compressors are left on continuously, running out of hours with a lot of energy going with the idling of the motors. One of the quickest ways to save money is to switch the compressor off overnight or at weekends. 
compressed air is probably responsible for 10% of your electricity bill. As much as half of that can be down to leakage within your factory. There's a very simple test you can do to quantify the energy for leakage, and that's called a no-low test. To undertake a no-low test, have a look at the compressor cycling when your factory is closed. Look at the amount of time that it's cycling on load and the amount of time it's cycling off load. So here we have the compressor in its offload cycle. The compressor is dropping on the compressor and the compressor is consuming 36 kilowatts idling. As the pressure drops, it's going to come on load. And as it comes on load, the compressor on load is taking 57 kilowatts. And it's working for about two thirds of the time. 20 seconds on load, 10 seconds off load. And that is just to make up for the leaks in the factory. That equates to about 40 kilowatts on continuously. And that's 13,500 pounds worth of energy per annum. Once you've done a no-load test and quantified your leaks, it's best to go around out of hours and listen for those leaks and try and cure them. If it's a noisy 24-hour-a-day factory, use an ultrasonic gun. These can detect a leak at 20 meters. It's quite surprising that a leak as small as three millimeters can cost over 500 pounds a year in leakage. As well as the obvious leaks, don't forget to look at overhead and other inaccessible pipes. When you find your leak, fix it. Five energy saving tips are, consider the strategic location of compressors, cold air in and waste heat out. When you need high pressure, think about a dedicated compressor. Switch off compressors out of hours. To quantify air loss, run a no-load test. Find and fix your leaks. We saved in the region of 4 to 5% on our energy bill using the information supplied by the consultant. I would recommend the Carbon Trust to any business, whatever size, large or small, to help them in looking for energy efficiency savings, which normally most companies don't see or don't think that they're available to them. If you're ready to start saving energy and money today, call the Carbon Trust. Hello, the Carbon Trust customer advice line. We can give you information on all our services, expert advice and support, on-site surveys and energy efficiency loans. So, if you want to start saving energy and saving money, call us now on 0800 085 2005.